Hey guys, Anton Log here, and it's about time that I do my setup tour, as it has been one of my highly requested videos that I've done on YouTube. So I want to do it for you guys, and I am currently almost there to 500 subscribers, so stay tuned for a channel update very soon. So I've just moved into a new room, and I really like this room. It's pretty small, but it works for a studio. So without any further ado, let's get right into the studio tour. So starting from the left side, I have pretty much basically nothing. It's all just blank white, and it looks very nice for B-roll backgrounds on camera, and I really like the color that it gives out. Um, that's pretty much just it. It's just a blank table for all the B-roll stuff that I have. So for the desk area, let's start with the chair. I use a piano chair, simply because I'm too short to use a regular chair. So moving on to my monitor, I have an ASUS PB238Q monitor. It is a very nice 23 inch monitor. It's IPS 1920 by 1080p, and it's good for color correction or anything to do with colors such as Photoshop, After Effects, or Premiere, and it just works very well. Now next to that monitor, I have another Dell monitor, and it's just a generic Dell monitor. It's a 1440 by 900p monitor, and I guess it works well for a second display, but it's not the best, but it works for right now. All right, so let's talk about accessories. For my mouse, I am using the Logitech G700S gaming mouse. It's a wireless gaming mouse. It's a lot like the Performance MX from Logitech, which is a highly popular mouse, except it has an extra few macro buttons, which is why I got it. So it was the same price as the MX, and I decided, well, if there's extra buttons, why not get those? So I got it, and I do not regret my decision. It works very well, and it's overall one of the best mice I've had ever. So next up to that is my keyboard. I have a mechanical keyboard. It is the Cooling Master CM Storm Quickfire Rapid. I like to use mechanical blue switches on this keyboard and it works very well. It's just a very nice keyboard. No fancy features, bells and whistles. It's just plain keyboard. So I actually customized my keyboard. If you want to see a video on that, you can click literally right here. Um, I just used skins to customize it and I think it turned out pretty well. And it's very comfortable and feels very nice. So the microphone I use for all of my recordings is the Blue Spark. Um, it works very well, and ironically, it's not blue. But anyways, it works very well. It sounds great, at least I hope so. Um, tell me if it does. But anyways, that's pretty much what I use for all of my recordings. All right, so moving on to the left side of my desk, you can see there are my Android minifigures, and I really like them. They're really cool to use as backgrounds for my B-roll. And overall, they're just great to have and show off on the left side of the desk. So I also have a Nikkor 40mm f2.8 macro lens that I really love. I'm not using it right now, but it's a very great lens. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Oh, and then I mentioned this happened. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching my studio tour. If you liked it, please leave a like. Comment down below why you liked it or why you disliked it. Um, also, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.